so I've got a view set up here and it's displaying member profiles in a directory. So as you can see, we've got um, each entry here being displayed one after the other, and it's a single column layout at the moment. So I think this is not that efficient. We can't see very, mem very many uh, profiles at the same time. We have to scroll down quite far uh, to see all of the members. So instead, we're gonna display this in multiple columns in a grid style layout, uh, making it easier um, for the user. So to do that, all we have to do is add some custom CSS styles, um, but we're gonna need the view ID. So if we hop back here to the view editor, here's the view editor, and the view ID uh, you can find in the embed shortcode here on the right above the update button. So this number here is the view ID, so it's 281. So I'll just remember that. And now, um, to find the CSS code that we need, we can just go to our documentation. So here we go, um, we've got this handy article here displaying a list view in a grid. Um, and if we scroll down, here is the code that we need. So these two code blocks are actually the same. Uh, the first one is if you want to change the styles of every list view on your website. And the second one is uh, you'll see it includes this view ID placeholder here. So this is for if you want to just change the styles for a single view. So in this case, we're just gonna change the styles for a single view. So I'll go ahead and copy this code. And I'll head back to our member directory. Um, there are different ways to um, add custom CSS to your website. But uh, for this example, we're just gonna use the customizer. So here's the theme customizer, and we'll scroll down and click on additional CSS. Here we go. So let's give ourselves some space here. All right, so I'm just gonna paste that co code in here. There we go. And now, as you can see, we've got this view ID placeholder. We need to replace that with the actual view ID. All right, so in this case, our view ID was 218. And there we go. So as you can see, now each entry is actually being displayed side by side. And we have a grid layout here with three columns. So if I go ahead and publish that. So here is what our member directory looks like now. We've got a little block for each uh, user and it's being displayed in a grid layout. And that is much easier on the eye and it creates a better experience in this case for the user. So that is how you can display a list view in multiple columns using some simple CSS code.